Steps at Wick, painted by L.S. Lowry in 1937, will be offered in the sale of modern British and Irish art at Bonhams in London on the 20th of November. It forms part of an extremely strong collection of 19 works by the artist. Painted in 1937, the work depicts an area of Wick known as Pulteney Town, and more specifically, the Black Stairs, which formed part of Thomas Telford's design for Pulteney Town, an area of Wick which was associated with the herring fishing industry in the late 19th century. What is particularly interesting about Steps at Wick is Lowry's treatment, or rather anthropomorphic treatment, of the buildings which frame the figures the way in which they twist and turn, mirroring the figures that they frame. This is in stark contrast to Lowry's treatment of factory buildings from Manchester that he included in his paintings of the 1920s and the early 1930s, which have a far more rigid and man-made appearance. Frustratingly, little is known of L.S. Lowry's time in Scotland. We know that he first visited the country as a young child with his aunt on holiday and made subsequent trips to the two large cities, Edinburgh and Glasgow, as well as venturing further north to Highland, visiting the towns of Wick and Thurzo. Of his time in Highland, very few works exist and the painting we are offering is one of only a handful of fully realised oils painted by the artist during his stay in Highland. Church Street Clitheroe, painted by Lawrence Stephen Lowry in 1964, is one of three works in the sale depicting the small Lancashire town of Clitheroe. And this particular painting, along with one other smaller version and an absolutely delightful pencil drawing, was acquired directly by the present owner's family from the artist. The paintings of this particular view of Clitheroe were painted between the years 1961 to 1966, and this is the largest known version. From the same collection as the two oil paintings depicting Clitheroe, we are also presenting this exquisite pencil drawing, which has not been seen in public since its exhibition at the Royal Academy of Arts, L.S. Lowry Retrospective, in 1976.